Hello everyone and welcome back to Altrius Plays. I'm Altrius, this is Vault Hunters Sky Vaults. If you remember in the last episode, I went through a raw vault with you almost in its entirety. I showed you that I did a second one very briefly. Since then, I have done about four or five more raw vaults because the scarcest material in all of those things is the one that I've needed the most, which has been chromatic iron. Now, I noticed that the uh, the XP reduction that I saw in the last episode was actually because I was much higher level than the vault. So it is the case that the vaults are all level zero because now that I am in fact level four from doing nothing but raw vaults, I don't get any more experience from these vaults because it's 100% gone. So one 25% debuff per level, four of those is 100%. No XP, but... I'm now finally at the point where I can show you that I can move on. I can start doing real vaults, finally. I've got exactly three chromatic iron ingots, which is what you need for one vault altar, two there, and of course the vault crystal. Well, almost. The vault rock is made of chipped vault rock. Anyway, one more chromatic iron ingot. So let's, let's get on with this. We're going to need two pieces of obsidian, some stone bricks, and a, a diamond. Now, I just need to remember that I kept hold of um okay one i kept hold of one stone brick but i can make some more if i kept hold of some stone and um some obsidian is available i don't think i need it too i don't need to the diamond so let's just make that uh more stone brick you have to make the stone brick that's the thing one two three so you can see in the background <clears throat> i've looted a lot of these things everything basically apart from this i looted from the vaults. I got two blast furnaces, which are great, by the way. These are new in Minecraft that I haven't played before. Um, and they just cook ore faster than this, which is brilliant. Oh, I made a whole bunch of these as well. So there's some XP. I uh, picked up an enchanting table, which has been pre-named. Thank you, uh, mods and devs, for that. I, I didn't pick that name. Right. So uh, I haven't really got an area that I want to put this down yet. I've expanded the platform a little bit with as much wood as I had, but ugh, let's put it on the stone. I've got, I'm trying to decorate, don't at me. Oh, we need a button. We're going to need a button up there to make it go. And then, here's our final chromatic thing got. Four, this one, one, two, three, four. Look how much stuff I've got, by the way. This all, oh, this all came from loot crates. <laughs> Well, not all. Obviously, some of this was looted, but a bunch of this came from loot crates, which is an extremely large amount of stuff. No relics. That's unfortunate. When I was doing my little test to see if I wanted to record this, my first relic booster pack had a relic. <laughs> Vault rock. What do you want? It's an easy one as well. Brilliant. Uh, have we got wheat? <laughs> have I actually found any wheat after all of that? No, I can grow some. Um... I think it was andersite and rotten flesh. I haven't really got a system here, as you can tell. I'm opening everything. And iron. There's a bit of a system, you know. This is vault stuff. This is growing stuff. This is rocks and stuff. Uh, not rock, but like gems and mine stuff. This is stuff that isn't necessarily mob loot, but you can see how it's like. It's the product of it's sort of produce. I don't know. This is enchanting stuff. I found a villager, by the way. Villagers exist in a funny. <laughs> oh, I haven't got any water. I have to make a bucket. Uh, villagers exist. I hadn't thought of this. Sorry, I'm vacillating because I just realised the easiest. This is the easiest thing you can do, right? One of each and wheat. But. I never made a bucket, and I never brought water out. I should make two buckets so that I can have an infinite water supply in here. Villagers do exist in some of the village rooms, and the way that works, it turns out, is they spawn. They have a spawn. Which is great. Um, but I didn't sort of expect it. I didn't know that was going to happen, so it scared me. Uh, and this has the easy villagers mod, so you just shift right click a villager to pick it up. In case you were wondering. Let's put away all the stuff. I might just go in, get some water and leave. <laughs> no, we should see what sort of rooms we get because I might end up with, you know, the opportunity to get even more chromatic iron. I might end up with a big mine room with some very rare, you know, netherrack or something. So um, let me let me do this vault. 
quickly. It's not going to be interesting, so I'm not going to put it in the video, and I'll be back, hopefully, with some water. Look at it. Look. I had no idea you could get a chromatic iron cave in a raw vault. I think I'm going to have to come back in once or twice to get some more coal, though. This is without fortune, and not even all of the veins, just the juicy ones. I've done it. I've built a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Look at that. Boy, I've just been running around outside, that's why I'm panting. I, it takes me a whole day to record these things, by the way. Uh, I've been paused for quite a long time. So I built a standard farm. I built a little shrine for the water god. I only got the one piece of wheat that we need to go and do this. So which are the things we need? We need one andorocyte. We need some rotten flesh and we need this. Complete, complete, complete. Where's the button? There it is. Please don't fall off the edge. <laughs> it's very close to the edge. Phew. It's going to be a level 4 vault. We don't know what type it's going to be. It's going to be a monolith vault. We know at least that much. We don't know what theme it's going to be. I've got my shulker box. Oh, I made a shulker box, by the way. I didn't mention that in between episodes. And uh, I've got an axe. I've got a pick. Very soon we will be wanting to make uh, chromatic iron pick. But I'm thinking maybe there's so few diamonds. <laughs> like the, the pick is mostly going to be there for resource gathering. But what we really want to do is get this um, we're going to get the monolith done, right? So we've got a, a desert theme now, so we know that there's creepers coming. Other things we're going to need, of course, are going to be the bounty table. Um, or occasional. See, this is a good thing. So you have not thought about vaults in this way before, but they're actually great resources for... Well, resources. <laughs> so this is going to be dangerous, okay? <laughs> so just go slowly. There will be creepers. There'll be vault fighters. I have got my heal. I put another level into heal. Whoa, you didn't take any. You didn't want anything, did you? Uh, this is the same resources. <laughs> oh, magic silk. We do want... So there's going to be new stuff, of course. There's actually vault loot, raw carbon, magic silk. And that sort of thing. Magic silt. Yes, that's, that's, that's what it's called. Um, and therefore there's non-fizzling spawners. There's more difficult terror enemies. So the difficulty here is going to be if we get non-fizzle spawners. We haven't yet got a um, a pit that can break spawners. You were very difficult. <laughs> I didn't like that very much. We are going north. I like it when we go north because then you know, <laughs> I feel like we should always be going north. Do you know what I mean? Where was that? Don't know. There's a lot of fizzlers. I'm wondering if it's still a thing that everything's a fizzler at this level. I really pretty. If, <clears throat> this is obviously a change that there are this many fizzle spawners. Honestly, I like it. Um, not being able to break them makes it considerably more dangerous to be in here in the first place. Now, it does mean that these dungeons, which are normally like intentionally dangerous, are also kind of trivial. Right? The point of the dungeons in the walls is that you, know, you have to fight through and actually break the spawner. This isn't one, I think this is just a normal POI. Um, and then there's a decent reward as a result. This is you know, this is why we needed a pick. It wasn't going to be for the spawners. And luckily it doesn't have to be for the spawners because they keep breaking themselves. Okay, so incidentally, if you haven't... <laughs> you may currently be watching the video I'm talking about, but I'm going to be releasing as a sort of a not heavily excited, um, not not promoted or anything, just a nice side video of the full vault runs. So I personally like it when I can see the whole vault. I like watching people run vaults. So here's me running a vault. Um, hey, what? Where did you come from? Oh, up there. Fair enough. I like watching people run vaults. And I also like it when people make an episode that isn't entirely vaults. <laughs> so... I thought what might be nice then, ooh, I like that noise, is to have videos of me doing the entire vault, which is what you're watching right now, and the, the curated cut video of the rest of the game. I know that you spawned, because I heard your noise. Are you in the wall? 
You shouldn't be. Yay, I'm the Scaffold King. Hopefully finding some special... Because there's going to be more specialer rooms. Um, well, I did find in the previous vault, as you'll have seen, uh, from this actual very video, in fact, for you, it was 10 seconds ago, but for me, it was hours ago, uh, that chromatic iron room in a level zero vault, which was really good. How do we even... <laughs> Let me have... There's a thing to do, and I can't... Oh, hello. I, I'm pretty sure that Omega rooms can't spawn in raw vaults, but the rooms that can spawn surprise me nevertheless. Ow. It's nice to see some true vault loot. I've been playing this for several hours now, although, you know, how long did it take us, how long did we spend um, looking for actual vault loot, like vault stuff, just to even begin in our multiplayer overworld type series? Mana. Yoink. It's the second one of the same type, which is really handy. And I got refilled mana. So I'm hoping... I don't know how long it's going to take me to earn enough knowledge points. Also, there could be traps. Don't forget some... Tra right, we haven't got the... We've got beginner's... Gr we've still got beginner's insurance. That's really nice. I wonder what level that goes up to. I assumed beginner's insurance was completely for the level zero books. But no. We have learned about this now. We haven't got a silk touch yet. So I'm hoping iron pickaxe can do yeah. A wooden one can do it apparently. So I'm gonna be cursed, so to speak, with um mining the actual gems. So I may not get some gems for some of these because there's a chance of getting zero gems. Especially at my level where I haven't got fortune on my pick or anything like that. And I am going to mine all this vault rock because more chipped pieces are going to be helpful. I did get a lot from previous vaults, but oh dear. Maybe I should have brought my diamond pick just for durability purposes, you know. Ooh, a bounty boil. I wonder how much knowledge that is now. Because the other thing I'm used to is it taking... It costs a lot to buy stuff. You know, we're not just um, sharing our knowledge between us on multiplayer, but we've got a shared knowledge base, right? We're, we've got shared um, shared learning on, so everything costs a little bit extra. And that means that if you want something specifically, A, you've got a lot... Ooh, ooh. Nice. Uh, you've got a lot less of the stuff in the first place because you've been sharing it, and B, you know, you have to either decide between you that you all want that thing, or not worry about it. Uh, I'll get it later. There we go. <laughs> Probably about time to make a new pick, if that's going to be the way you're going to be. Um, something's fizzling outside. It's not invited. Nope. So I'm interested to see how quickly we get... Ow! Use this axe. <laughs> um, knowledge, now that I'm not sharing and it's cheaper. This is an all room, isn't it? <laughs> Just me to find an all room. And I've got a pick. Okay. I'll do it. Come on, brain. How hard is it to make a pick? There we go. Um, again, we don't need to be quick. Okay? We've got plenty of opportunities. For... Um, you know, victory. We don't have to stress out about... I say we don't have to be quick. We're running out of time. <laughs> but what I'm saying is we don't have to not waste time in the vault. We can spend time making new um, pickaxes and stuff because 
we've got the ball rolling. We're on the, you know, we're on the tracks. Everything's coming up roses. Really should try and get silk touched though. So I do have one villager. It's nice. And that one villager, I could in theory turn into a librarian in order to get some um, enchanted books. I don't know any other way of doing it. I suppose in theory. Can we still breed villagers? I don't know enough about vanilla at this point. Uh, I need to get out. <laughs> How do we leave? So I'm guessing you can still breed villagers with a villager village thingy. Enough doors and they get frisky, but I, I don't know. A bit of art. I've got another level. More jewels. Ah, boots. Nothing else to identify. That's cool. For a jewel, we've got living affinity, but it's big. Coin affinity is nice. Coin affinity would be good on a shovel or something, so that you don't accidentally dig out the thing the coins are standing on when you get really good at it. So we've got samurai boots, which is <laughs> that's ridiculously good. Um, three health on this versus three health on the one I'm equipped. This has got some potential to it. Um, I've got more armor at the moment, but I could add a suffix to this later. So I'll keep hold of this. This is my keeping hold of. Also, I had this one. Um, I had an epic one somehow, which I was going to wear. Maybe I should try and get unbreaking first. I don't know if that's worth it. Um, we've also got shoveling, not interesting, more living affinity, but it's even bigger, and more copiously. No relics. Oh, I did get a relic. Look, that's, I wondered it went bink. I was like, why did it go bink? Kismet. I got a relic fragment. That was a good vault, and I think I'm going to do another one. Let's see what it costs us, and if it's not too expensive and we can run the vault straight away, I'll record it. If it then has so much interesting stuff in it that the episode will be too long, put it in the next episode and say goodbye. However, one thing at a time. We need to make another rock. The other thing we can make is this tool vice, uh, tool station. I think that's worth doing because it's the thing that lets you make a chromatic iron pick, I believe. So this is part of our... We should make sure that we've got more space over here. Um, this is your starting out stuff, right? So chromatic iron pick is chromatic iron ingots, drift, driftwood, and vault bronze. And vault bronze is literally that money that you can see in there. Look. So some of that, some of that, some of this... We get as a chromatic iron pick. Now we do have. Here's the interesting thing: we have some jewels, uh, which are, for example, picking. Can you pick it? Um, there's an 80 size one, which is huge. There's a 38 size one. There's an 83 size one, which is even huger. A 49 size one, and that's it, I think. Um, so you can put on your tool picking. Which means that whatever it is you make can also do picking. So a good choice is to, uh, at this stage anyway, is to take something that isn't a pick, like an axe. We've also got axing, look. So there's 36 size axing, there's shoveling. So there's all of these. Um, and add the other one. So at this stage, I think the best thing to do I do have an unspent skill point as well, by the way. So I'm thinking the thing to do is to use a moderately... Like, we could use even these huge ones, right? Maybe use a moderately large picking jewel on an axe. Then we've got a pick and an axe in the same tool. Did I make one? I don't think I made one. That's because you're making an axe. What did you just say? Spare pick. What did I just say? Make an axe. Make an axe. And then in your anvil, which is here, you can put the picking jewel on it. And now we've got a, a cutter. Let's just call it a cutter. So we've got another spare pick. And we've got an axe, so we don't need this. Understand? 
And then with this, we can add haste, for example. Um, I wouldn't because it's old. It's cheap. It's not very good. Can we add haste? So let's see what the other jewels we've got are. We've got copiously, which I forget the name of, but is good. Uh, I forget the what I can't remember what it does. We've got soulbound, which obviously you keep it when you leave the um, the if you die. Trap disarm chance is okay. But the other good things are things like living affinity, right? 70 though, right? It's 70 size. We can't fit it on this because this only has a 51 capacity left because we put a 49 size jewel on. We've got coin affinity, but I just said, and I stand by it, that that should go on a spade or something. Wooden affinity. That's good. So what we might want to do here, repeat this later, but I haven't got anything that's collecting all the stuff, right? So if I break a chest, all the stuff's going to spill out. I don't want to do that. Um, so that's that's something that we can think about in the future. Um, there's no, so basically, I'm thinking there's nothing. Maybe this. Like it's small. This is exactly 51 size. So let's use this and this and get exactly no capacity left and a little bit more item quantity. You broke my anvil. That's how powerful that was. We'll put this on here. Well, I know that I said I'd run the vault and then decide whether to end the episode after it or pretend I hadn't run it and do the episode before it, but I'm actually going to just straight up end the episode here. Thank you for watching. This has been Vault Hunters Sky Vaults. I've got a vault crystal ready to go, so next episode, straight in, we can run that one and see what we can get. We've got a lot of infrastructure to build, but we've got a lot of infrastructure just from our, uh, our, 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 our raw vaults, which is really good. Um, and I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and I hope you join me next time for this level 5 vault. I haven't even used my unspent skill points, so maybe I'll do that at the start of the next episode as well. You can consider that a cliffhanger for what I'm going to do. But again, thank you for watching. I've been Altrius, this has been Altrius Plays, and I'll see you next time.